Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make the zipper stripe bracelet. Um, it's a pretty easy bracelet and it doesn't take very long. And it is reversible. On this side you have two single chains and then on this side you have this really cool design. So, so using this same, um, like the same method you used to get this design you can also make this bracelet which is just like two of these and they're connected by cat bands and you can also make this bracelet and this bracelet and these are just um this bracelet with this one has like um well these are the same but they have like these little wings or whatever you want to call them with just a single chain running up the side. And then this is a um, double rubber band single chain. And those are really cool. And as you can see, it's reversible. And so yeah, using just the way you make this, you can make all of these. But just today I'm just going to be able, today I'm just going to show you this. So, Let's get started. Okay, so to begin, you're going to need to take this row off the loom. You're only going to be using these two rows for this bracelet. So you can take these, this one off and set it to the side. <clears throat> and then now we can begin laying the pins. So, not the pins, sorry, the bands, the bands. So, make sure your loom is not like this towards you. You're going to want it to be the U. So, around. And you're going to grab your first color and put it from here to here. And then the next one from here to here. And you're just going to keep going up the loom just like a single. Okay, then you're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so next we are going to take our next color and we're going to do um, like, like a zigzag pattern. You're going to go from this pin to this pin and then you're gonna go the opposite way and then do that again and you're just going to go up the loom like in a zigzag pattern. And you can push these rubber bands down so they do not get in your way. Okay, so it should look like this when you are finished and you're going to flip the loom around. 
and you're going to put um, a cap band right here. And then you're also going to put a cap band on this pin. And now we can begin the hooking process. So, so first we're going to hook the, um, the pink bands and you're going to pull back this cow band and grab the pink band. And you can hold the cat band back with your thumb. And you're going to pick that up. And instead of placing it this way like we would normally do, we're going to place it forwards. Then pull this cat band back and take both pink bands and pull it up and hook that forward. So then you're going to come in to this pin and you're going to take these two bands and you're gonna place them forwards. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. Take the two pink bands, and you're gonna place them forwards. And you're going to keep doing this until you reach the end. Then when you reach this pin, you're going to take these two and you're going to bring them over to this pin. Okay, so it should look like this when you're finished and now we are going to hook the purple bands. So you're going to come into this pin and you're gonna grab the purple band and you normally hook it forward, but this time we are going to hook it on to this pin. And then you're going to pull that band that you just placed and the cat band back and you're going to grab the purple band and bring it over to this pin. Pull all these bands back and just grab the very bottom band and put it over to the pin across from it. And then you're gonna do that again. So pull all these bands back, grab the bottom band and put it diagonally. And you're going to keep doing that. And so when you get to this pin, um, you're going to take the bottom band and you're going to hook it to this pin. So, and then you're going to take this purple band as well and you're gonna bring it over to that pin. So, that's what it should look like when you're all finished. 
Now we are ready to take it off the loom. So place your hook into this pin and you're going to grab whatever color you want your extension to be. And then you're going to take that band and you're going to pull it through. And then put that band onto your hook and you're going to pull the bracelet off. So this is what your bracelet should look like when you are finished. If this will focus. And you have the, the um, single chains on the back and then this on the front. <clears throat> and this obviously is not big enough to wear as a bracelet, so now you can add your extension. Um, most people like to do their extension on the loom, but I like to do it just um, on my hook because I find it a lot easier and just quicker for me. But if you want to do that on the loom, you can because there's tons of tutorials that have that. So I'm just going to do it on my hook. So you place this rubber band, um, where you're gonna grab it with your hook and then hold the other end. And then you're going to pull these two bands onto it and then do that. So you have a loop and then you do that one more time. So you, you have your hook and then you grab onto that rubber band and you hold on to the other end and then you just pull it through. And so you just do that until you reach the length that you want it to be. I'm going to do eight, um, like, yeah, chains, and then I'm just going to put this on this peg, and then I'm going to get a C-clip, so, sorry, Let me get a C-clip. Okay, and then I'm going to hook these, or not hook them, but, oh well, yeah, hook them onto the C-clip. And then you're going to take, sorry, I have dog hair on my bracelet. You're going to take this rubber band, which was a cat band, and you're going to hook the C-clip onto it. Those two rubber bands, or they're really one, but yeah. And then you're going to do the same to the other cap band right here. These bands are really slippery, so it's kind of hard. Okay, and so that should fit. And so there is your bracelet. It's nice because it's reversible and it's pretty easy to make and looks cool. So thank you for watching.